Yo, what's going on guys? Today, as you saw from the title, I'm gonna be visiting Hersey Park uh, for two days. So it's with the Buzz Bar, so shout out to Buzz Bars. It's looking like it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. I'm here a day before, so I did three nights, so pretty much Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm gonna leave out on Monday. I wanted to go to Dorney Park today, what ended up happening though is I got stuck in some traffic because of, you know, Virginia always likes to have traffic. Uh, I got caught in traffic in pretty much every state though, except pretty much Pennsylvania. Um, there was just a lot of traffic. It was just that hour when I left, like by the time I got up here, it was basically about like six o'clock and I was just like, man, forget it. I'm not driving an hour to Dorney to be there only for like three hours. It's just no point. Penobles is also by here, but I just want to show you all pretty much the hotel room really quick. So uh, join the tour. All right, so here's the door. Then they give me some nice, uh, this is a Hilton Garden Inn, by the way, Harrisonburg, I think East or something, Pennsylvania. You get an iron, you get the ironing board, some hangers. You also get a, a laundry bag. I already have one for me. Uh, then you have a little thing to hold a ton of your stuff. Uh, drawers here for your shoes, which is pretty nice. This is actually a pretty nice one. It's pretty large. Honestly, I wouldn't mind being or living in something like this. As long as it had like a stove and maybe a washer dryer, this is good enough for me. I really don't need nothing crazy, but it's a pretty large room. As you see, it is a king. Uh, that's my pillow, my Columbia pillow. I love that pillow. Then I got my stuff over here, but you get a desk, you get the TV. I don't even watch TV anymore. Uh, there's a lamp there. They got a bunch of USB ports or outlets. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's like literally like a, at least 15 outlets in here. Uh, the AC isn't super cold. I did put it to 69, but it's just kind of taking a while. Overall, it's a pretty solid hotel room though. I like the little bench here for me to kind of like put on my shoes. That's a nice little touch right there. It does have a mini fridge. It's kind of hidden. Nice little mini fridge right here. I got my uh, Evian up in there. Y'all know what it is. Uh, microwave, Keurig, and for the lovely price of $400 because they charge $100 fee just in case you mess up the room where you use the bar uh luckily breakfast is free which it really should be and oh by the way this is a dbrand skin if you're wanting the case it's a dbrand skin i bought this this is for me so when i have to put in my contacts toilet's pretty you know basic uh this is a, it seems like a nice shower i did bring my own soap and obviously like shampoo because i don't trust theirs but you know if you need it they do have it for you uh, it does seem like a pretty decent shower, so I'm going to actually clean out the shower because I'm super OCD uh, about who's, you know, using my stuff. I literally just wiped down the entire thing. Um, there's my Lysol wipes there, and then I have the Lysol spray. I'm going to clean uh, clean out the bathroom just in case because you never know who's really using it. But yeah, that's the room. It's a nice little hotel room. This could be nice for three days. I don't need any room service or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to grab a bite to eat. Um, I'm going to try to get maybe some Hispanic food or Mexican food and maybe like if I don't get Mexican food, it may just be like a burger or something or a chicken sandwich. Uh, right now it's, the night is young as the old people say the night is young still. So I'll try to figure out a place to eat in a minute. Yo, that place Lancaster Brewing Company. I got to give them four. I'm going to give it like a four point. Yeah, I'm going to give it a four and a half. Four and a half out of five because the service is great. Uh, the guy was very attentive uh, to everyone in our group and the food came out really quick. I was really surprised. Like I literally came there late and the food still came out there really quick. It came out there in like maybe 10, 10 minutes tops. Uh, they did a great job. Food was great. It was nice seeing a lot of people, Meg, uh, Mark, Cali. There was a lot of people there. We all got like something different, but everyone was pretty happy with what they got. I did like a Wagyu burger with like fries and uh, this like strawberry wheat beer, really good beer. That was like one of the best beers I've had. But now it is time to get ready. I'm gonna go take a shower, uh, then get ready to go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow. Yo, it is, it's not pouring right now, but it's definitely raining. So we out here, y'all see you got the Adidas fit with me. It's, it looks really bright now. I don't know why it looks super saturated. Maybe it's just my sunglasses, but uh, you got Mark and them in the background and whatnot. We're just waiting for the park to open. We still got like 30 something minutes, so it's gonna be a little while, so yeah. I know y'all can't really see me right now because it's fogged up the lens because it's pouring out rainer, but 
we just got three back-to-back -back rides. That ride is just pure relentless, man. That second half is something else. Jeez, that ride is crazy. All right, guys, I just finished live track. I hadn't ridden that in years. They had no effects on them. They did have the music on, but it was pitch black. I literally was dizzy when I got off the ride. That's the first time I've been dizzy when I get off, gotten off a ride. I found a little spot where there's no music at, and yeah, it is still raining outside, but it's been a good day. I like that they have stuff open, hashtag Kings Dominion. I don't know why they don't have stuff open during the rain like this. Hershey Park's like, we'll open it for you. I think it's honestly state law though, so each state has different rules, but that was solid. Lap track was good. I haven't ridden that in a long time. Six rods, Wildcats Revenge. Man, oh man, dude, this thing is just, it's just another level, man. I'm about to meet up. They're supposed to be taking a picture, I think. Um, so we'll go do that. I'm about to go do that. And uh, I don't know if Storm Run is open yet. Sky Rush hasn't opened either. So you got to go a little bit ahead of me. OK, there we go. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got Kyrie. Let me tell y'all, the height difference is real right now. Yes, yes. But uh, what y'all, what did y'all think of uh, Wildcats or Vins? Wildcat, man. I, I'm not the biggest RMC fan, but uh, uh, it's, the, it's the second best one. In my okay, opinion. I'll take that. Yeah. What's your favorite part about it? Uh, the drop is great. Mm -hmm. That little dive twist, whatever yeah. it's called, is pretty good too. The underflip or whatever. The underflip, yeah. whatever. They're naming things down. But yeah, yo, how, are the, how are the restraints? <laughs> that, that, they're actually not bad. They're yeah. the most the newer gen one, one, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, the newer yeah. gen ones are really good. Yeah, so, All righty. Uh, well, we're headed to Skyros now. Yeah. And uh, apparently it's testing. So we'll see. We'll Let's see go. what happens. All right, Tifa. What did you think of Sky or Wildcats Revenge? <laughs> it was actually really <laughs> no, I really yeah. wanted to <laughs> Front, okay. Did you did you ride all the way in the back end or no? No, I rode in the middle. In the middle? middle? Yeah. Middle. Okay, y'all rode in the middle. The middle okay. Was good. Yeah. I was standing. She said front, I was standing. I was fully standing. Man. Don't know how. That what would you it. say your favorite part was? The upside down. The upside down. Okay. <laughs> upside down. <laughs> all right, Marcus. What did you think of Wildcat's revenge? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Wildcat was incredible. Yeah. Airtime was next level. Um, out of someone who's written a lot of them, what would you say? Where did that rank for you? It's better than, so mine goes Vengeance. Okay. Um, Wazi. Okay. Uh, and then Zadra. So okay. I think it's better than Zadra, a little and worse than Iron Wazi, but barely. Did you write Airy Force or no? I have not yet. Okay, same. So I will eventually, but. Yeah. We'll see what that's like because I'm an airtime guy and that's gonna be airtime city. So we'll see yeah. what that's like. Yeah, this one's top one for me for sure. So yeah. Oh, there you go. What was your favorite part though? Uh, the double down for double sure. Down. Okay. You popped over that airtime. Oh yeah. Right it was again. like bam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, every there, there's not a spot where you're like, yeah, eh, this is boring. That's Maybe the true. drop could be a little better. The drop was yeah, just like that's like it, you yeah, get a hang going. time on the front, but that's basically it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The back could get a little pull down, but yeah. for the most part, it's, it's it's great all over. Yeah, I, there's a lot of unexpected moments in typical RMC style, but mm -hmm. just airtime and spots you're not you're not used to seeing. Yeah, that's so really pop, true. Pop, 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 like oh, I didn't expect yeah, that. Yeah, like the second half, it's just like yo, what's going on? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah MZ <laughs> described it great. She said that you know the first half is better in the front. On the back, and the yeah. second half is better in the front. Yeah, that is very. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very. It's why you need to ride both. You so, do. Yeah. I was happy I did because Mike uh, says he likes front more, but I think personally I do like the back. But I understand why front front is. Really I like good. the front more because of the ending. Yeah, because the, the the first part is still great. The first part is still great. <laughs> in so cool. Yeah. All right, we're about to head to Skyro, y'all. Oh, Talk to y'all yeah. soon. Biggest shoes. The biggest. Yeah, there's. <laughs> I'm wearing like half your size. 11s. <laughs> <laughs> we got oh, 11 boy. inches, man. Hey, I forgot his name. What is your name again? <laughs> uh, they call me Big Wiener Daddy Manny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got Grant in the building. They call it Thor Son of Ed. <laughs> Thor Son of Ed. Just kidding. They call What's me that? Matt. What y'all think of Wildcats? Wildcat, uh, Wild Cousy. Uh, <laughs> phenomenal ride. Yeah. Second best ride in the park. Okay. Behind Sky Rush. You like that? Okay, okay. Sky, I promise you Sky Rush is better. At, well, Last I, night I it was know. running phenomenal. Okay. Phenomenal. Uh, if it opens today, we'll see. We don't know if it's going to open or not, but check out their YouTube channel. They have a lot. They do some awesome stuff. They like the tailgate. They like yeah, the tailgate. We love the tailgate. And if you're ever at a park, you see us, come tailgate.
Welcome back to the Lisa Shelburne Channel. I'm Pastor Bob from the Rich Channel. I'm filling up all the bottles. You may have to answer to your right. You know me. Man, every time I ride Comet, I haven't ridden that in probably like two years. It's so good. It's so good. And it's Buzz Bars, literally Buzz Bars. It's in the name of our coaster club. Man, that's so good. I haven't, man, I forgot how good that ride was. Like the airtime at the end is so good. Really smooth, not janky at all. That's an amazing wooden coaster for its age. Definitely ride that one if you're here. It does get a long line though, so. If you have fast track, it's definitely worth it. Okay, guys. So, just did, I actually just got a credit. Uh, the Coco Cruiser ride, wrote that. Uh, that was actually pretty good for a kid coaster. It, was, it goes around three times in a row. Really good. Solid, solid ride. Uh, I wouldn't really know what to rate it right now, but hey, it's a credit. So I think that was like 104 for me. So I had to mark that one in the book. I'm going to try to ride this Reese's Cup Fusion ride. There's finally no line for it. Well, there's a little bit of line, but it usually gets stupid long. So yeah. Um, Have y'all written this? Okay, I haven't done it. The line's always long for it. Super. <laughs> hey, what did y'all think of uh, Wildcats Revenge? Woo! That was fire. Yeah. Yeah, that My was favorite true. is super duper duper. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. I can't uh, drop focus. Just four. <laughs> Is so nasty. I, love I like watermelon juice, but not watermelon. Man, I know it's been a little bit, so we rode Super Duper Looper. Um, got to ride storm runner sky rush are pretty much closed for the day candemonium is testing now it's like almost six o'clock or something uh we still have a long ways to go because we're supposed to get ert we're supposed to get ert today on a, i know we're supposed to get ert today on a wildcats revenge but it's everything's walk on in the park even comet i got to ride comet and oh my gosh i love that ride so much it's so good um I'm thinking of what else I need to really... Oh, I said Coco Cruiser. I got to ride that. But yeah, I'm kind of glad it stopped raining for at least a little bit. It does feel kind of good. I got to sit in the car in some warmth because, man, it is getting cold out here. And I don't have no hoodie under this. Tomorrow, I'm about to be bundled up tomorrow. It's crazy. Pitch black, y'all. Not pitch black. There's a lot of flaw going on up in here. I can't even see what's in front of me right now. Here, here, Brian, Bill, Bill, Billy. <laughs> that ride is so good, man. Every time, Storm Runner. They have just a great top five here. Like to have Wildcats Revenge, Storm Runner, Fahrenheit, Sky Rush, and Candemonium all in the same park is like, wow. Like, that's Cedar Point level right there. I really, really love that. I'm glad Storm Runner opened too. I haven't got a night ride on that in a long time and worth it. Definitely worth the wait. It wasn't too long, probably about 10 minutes. Um, ops are pretty good. 
but you know it is one train right now a lot of stuff is one train because everything opened pretty late i am going to try to ride this one little ride i'll show you all in a little bit it looks pretty crazy So that ride was called Mixed. Um, really, really cool ride by Zamperla. So different. You Basically, the way it works is, you're probably thinking, how the world do you even get off the thing? So you get two cycles on it. You get to go forward and backward. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of airtime. Great ride. I definitely recommend you check it out. But if you don't like that stomach feeling, it's definitely going to give that stomach feeling, butterflies and stomach feeling. Really good ride, though. that fire. <laughs> he, he, he's a coaster nut, man. He hasn't ridden Iron Guazi yet, but he's gotten on a lot of coasters. What's your crank count now? 120. Okay, that's still good. He's ridden a lot of good coasters, though. So we're going to try to marathon Wildcats or Vince for a little bit. There's no weight at all to walk on. This park is just so good, man. I think I'm about to be at number 10 on Wildcats or Vince now. So, yeah. 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 Hi, so I did Wildcats Revenge at night. Uh, Great Bear, no wait, pretty much a five minute wait for front row. And what else? Skyros twice, Skyros is just crazy. Just crazy. It's on another level, you just can't, you can't compare that and Candemonium because it's just literally two different categories. It may be a hypercoaster, but they are not the same. <laughs> they are not the same at all. Uh, I'm loving the night rides here. It's nice to finally be able to get some night rides at this park. Uh, we're supposed to be going to Lightning Racer, do a takeover there. Uh, it's a lot of people, so that should be probably maybe two trains. They don't have both sides open, though. It's like two trains, but one side is open, so yeah. seven times in a row i'm trying to get every single row but we're about to run out of time i want to get a little bit of footage for y'all this thing is just it's just so much fun relentless after that freaking like stall it's just like holy crap hold on tight because the quad down it's just crazy i'm not the quad down it's like there's like a double down and then there's like you go to the barrel it's crazy man i just love this ride so much for me, it's number one in the park. I'm gonna get some footage for y'all so you can at least look at the trains uh, while you have the 
while I have the time and I'm actually able to hear it, I mean, I'm able to do this, so yeah. So I got nine rides all together. I almost got 10, but I wanted to film. So I was like, I'll take it. I got row eight as my last ride. That's a great row. I still think front row and back, front and back, it's just like, man, they're, they're both great. But I think front on the second half is just amazing. Uh, on the drop though, for the back, it's just pure objective. It's so good. Such a great ride. Thank you, Buzz Bars. Thank you, uh, Hersey Park for allowing us to have this time. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. <laughs> We definitely appreciate each and every one. I was gonna, I was gonna drop a four letter word. That would be good. For me too. I mean, we, I don't care over here. <laughs> but we appreciate uh, Hersey Park for allowing us to uh, be able to come out here and do this exclusive ride time, and uh, it was awesome, man. Just great time. Well, well, I got some light. Um, that was an amazing first day at Hersey Park. Tomorrow, day two, we won't have any exclusive ride time or anything, but we'll try to do a takeover, a super duper, a looper. We did that kind of today. Uh, we did it on Lightning Racer as well. And I don't know what we're kind of really planning for tomorrow, because it is supposed to rain again tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm definitely gonna have a hoodie on under this, because it got pretty chilly today. Um, that rain and the cold weather was a new. But yeah, Wildcats Revenge, amazing ride. Sky Rush, amazing. Cannemonium, I wish I could have rode it more, but we were just kind of moving throughout the day. We were just trying to get on whatever that was open. Uh, Lightning Racer got really good at the end of the day. Really good night ride on Lightning Racer. And what else? There was like one other ride. Storm Runner was also really cool at night. Um, overall, just a great day. Just a really good day. Hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time. All right, so basically what ended up happening is it completely rained. Everyone was sore. I think almost all of us at least got over like seven miles yesterday. Uh, most people averaged at least around like eight to 10, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I got around 10 miles yesterday uh, at the park because we were there from literally like 10 in the morning like 10:45 to pretty much 11 or close it was crazy um pretty much today we were gonna do like a storm runner chase over that definitely didn't happen a lot of people went to the chocolate tier i ended up missing it because i missed like my reservation and i was like well let me just go get mcdonald's and i said i'll just end it off like that and uh yeah i'm just chilling in the hotel now uh literally you know by my lonesome my king size bed but yeah that's gonna do it for the vlog i was gonna end it i was gonna do another vlog today but i say hey that's it we're just, just gonna be some bonus footage for the people that stay a little bit longer in the video 
Um, had a blast though. It was nice meeting so many people. Uh, Glenn, he's not even in Buzz Bars, but he was doing like this big coaster trip. So shout out to him. Um, There's so many people that I met. Another guy from Australia. Just a lot of fun. Had a blast, and I uh, can't wait to do it again in the future. 21 rods on a uh, Wildcats Revenge, and I still want more. Uh, I do still have two tickets left though. They pretty much gave us a free ticket because of the rain. They gave us a ticket that's valid all the way to like June of next year, which is just awesome. So shout out to Hersey Park on that. Uh, that that's really nice of them to do that. Some parks usually just do it uh, to the end of the year, but they said, nope, it's good to 2024. And uh, with that being said, I'll probably be back there. I may even go back this year to be honest, but one of the last states I really need to get to is really Florida and California. Uh, at least by the end of the year, I wanna try to get to one of those states uh, I am going to try to go to Dollywood. I got to save some money and see what I can do as far as fun wise. But I really want to get to Dollywood at least for just a day to go to go and experience uh, Lightning Rod, at least just this one time. And um, it may just be honestly a one day trip and come back and call it a day. Thank you all so much for 10,000 subscribers. Also, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Uh, I actually hit 10,000 when I was at Hersey Park uh, yesterday, and that was an awesome feeling. So just thank you guys so much. Till next time. Peace out. Thank you.